so you go to the nursery. It's the funnest part of the spring season, picking out the plant that you love, and you have your list of what you want to get, and you come up and you, you get to a whole block of, of spireas, say, and, and you want to make sure you get a good one. Well, well you kind of pick this one up and you say, well, it's got pretty good rounded form. It's pretty full. It's got a good tag. It's identified. So, you know, how are the roots look? Because that's, you're taking the roots home too. So do not be afraid to stick your hand in there, cover the top of the soil, and take the can off and have a look at those roots. This one has very good root coverage. You should be aware if you start to take a plant out of a pot and all of the, the potting material starts to fall away. Um, in that case, stick it back in the pot. You, you don't want that one. It needs to, to cook a little bit longer and fill out the container. So this one is good because you can see root coverage. The ball, the entire ball is staying together. Now what I want to emphasize when you plant this is you need to cut these roots. It's really important to redirect them and help them want to go out into the soil and find new areas to put roots. There's no rhyme or reason or, or specific method that works better. Just get a box knife and, and hack at it a little bit. So this one would be a good one to choose. Buying local is so important. It's not just an issue of economics, it's an issue of survivability. Plants that are sold at your local independent garden center are far more likely to have been produced locally. They're more acclimated to our climate and they're probably chosen for their suitability for our climate. And this goes all across the United States. For more information, visit your local extension office or visit our website.